because I am doing something that literally has never been done on YouTube before. You heard that right? Never, never ever, ever been done on YouTube before. So I am super excited to bring you guys this amazing resin art craft full of tips and tricks on how you guys can also do the same craft at home. And before we get going on the rest of the video, please go ahead and hit that like button because it really helps to support the video. And also while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can become part of the notification gang and not miss a single video that I put out. The It's J Bunny YouTube fam is growing every single day and I love seeing you guys come back for each and every video. Also you guys, make sure you comment down below. Are you excited to see this resin craft and have you tried something like this at home? I love reading all of your comments and I try and respond to every single one of them. So let's jump into today's video. I am super excited and as you can tell by the title of the video, today we are making something super, super special and I'm following up on my previous resin video on stoner girl ashtrays with something even more dope and that is LED ashtrays that literally light up so you can be in the dark vibing out and having your sick ass LED ashtray over on your side to ash in and yeah you guys all of your friends are going to be super impressed with this. Let's jump into the supply list and what you're going to need to go ahead and do this resin craft at home. And yeah, if you see anything that you like here on the video, don't worry. I went ahead and linked everything down in the description below. Everything can be bought on Amazon with your Amazon Prime account and who doesn't love Amazon? So make sure you check out the description below where I'll list everything so you guys can easily purchase it and get it shipped to your home. And yeah, you guys, I always try and write little special notes to my subscribers down in the description of the video. So always make sure you check that out. Let's jump into these supplies. So since we're doing a resin ashtray, the first thing that you're gonna need is your resin ashtray molds. I've selected this heart ashtray mold, which I think is so cute. I absolutely love this shape. And then for the second ashtray, cause we're gonna be doing two today in two different LED light colors, I selected this square one. I just really like how my past ashtrays have turned out in this mold. And yeah, these two shapes give a really eclectic look. And yeah, you guys, of course, like I said, I'll be linking these down below. You can purchase them on Amazon and they actually come in a sweet set. So you can get four ashtrays for the price of one. The second most important thing you're going to need on this resin craft is of course your LED lights. I picked these up right off of Amazon and they're no ordinary LED lights. They actually light up in color. This one is red and then this one I have blue. The set also comes with purple, green, white, and yellow. But today we're gonna be using the red and the blue. The third thing we're gonna be needing to make our sick LED resin ashtrays is some photography. I printed out these pictures online and today I'm gonna be making Scarface themed ashtrays for you guys. This one is going to be surrounded by the blue lights and then of course this is the infamous scene where Tony finally kills his first boss and then this is the infamous movie cover and yeah I'm just obsessed with the movie Scarface. So of course the other material that you're going to be needing is our resin. We're going to be using my favorite two-part resin which uses equal parts of A and B. I'll put a picture of the resin I use right here. These are the exact bottles and of course I've linked these down below as well. And you're going to be needing your measuring cup. The next thing we're gonna need for our craft is some of this diamond dust. I'm picking out the red and the blue and these really pigment the resin incredibly well. I mean like this little bag has been lasting me for the longest time. It is super pigmented. Like I said, I'm gonna link all of this down below, so make sure you check it out on Amazon for yourself. This one is called Imperial Red. 
other color is iridescent blue. And then the last thing that we need for our ashtrays is of course some bling. So since we're doing a Tony Montana Scarface theme one, I picked up these money confetti glitters on Amazon also and they are so sick. I also have some of this nail art um, glitter. I really don't know exactly what it's called but I'll link it down below and it's these little iridescent strips that really shine in the sunlight so I know they're gonna shine and pop with the LED lights lit up inside our ashtray and then of course I have my good old standby big tub of glitter right here and guess what that's all that you're gonna need now it's time to get started on our resin craft and let's get right into the steps and then of course we're gonna do the unmolding together at the end First step in making these dope light up LED resin ashtrays is going to be to insert our LED lights. And so yeah you guys, I have my two molds right here that I'm going to use and I have my two LED lights and we're going to go ahead and untangle them from the packaging that they came in and we're going to insert them into the resin molds before we even start mixing or pouring any resin. And I know you guys might be like a little bit confused by this if you haven't done a lot of resin crafts before, but let me tell you guys, resin can get super duper sticky and messy. And by putting these LED lights into the molds exactly as you want them before you get going on pouring your resin is going to save you guys a lot of headache. And it's really going to ensure that you can get your LED lights in the exact positioning that you want. Okay, you guys, so I have my red LED lights. I'm actually going to start with the side that has the battery in it, and I'll explain this more at the end. We'll deal with the placement of this little part at the end. But yeah, you guys, you're going to take the battery part and um, you see like it has like a wire and then a more thicker plastic. I'm actually going to make sure that the plastic starts over here outside the edge of the mold. That way it's super thin. Just start following around the shape and going around and we're going to space these out so that they really light up the whole circumference of the ashtray just pushing down lightly as you go and i'm gonna try and stagger the lights um, a little bit so that they can really cover every single inch like i don't want the little lights exactly overlapping each other. I want a maximum litness on my ashtray. All right, so you guys can see the ashtray mold is really lighting up nice. I'm trying to alternate where the lights go so that they're completely spaced out and lighting up as much of the mold as possible. You want to make sure that your LED lights are pressed firmly down into the bottom of the ashtray. And here's what it should look like when you have everything all wrapped up. Here's what it looks like from the other side. And yeah, you guys, let's jump into our next ashtray. All right, so here is the blue one. We're going to go ahead and do the same exact process. Um, even though this is a square mold, it's going to be the same exact process. So let's do this. We're all set. Our ashtrays are completely prepped with our LED lights. They are licking a freaking fire. Now it's time to get to mixing our resin. A few moments later. This layer is going to be completely clear. All I'm going to do is take this clear resin and pour it over our perfectly wrapped LED lights because the star of the show is these LED lights. We really want them to shine. We've gone ahead and let our first layer that we just poured in the video dry. And now what we're going to be doing is inserting our graphics. And we're also gonna be applying some of our glitters that I talked about before into each of the ashtrays. Let's work on this blue ashtray first. I have my resin mixed here. It's just clear, plain, nothing in it. And I'm gonna slowly pour it into my mold. 
and this time I'm pouring it directly into the center. I don't want to overfill it. I just want enough that's going to glaze the whole top. Take our Scarface movie poster graphic and I'm gonna put it right here, making sure that the picture faces down. I'm gonna add some of this blue shiny metallic flakes. I'm just gonna apply it around the edge where we're going to be seeing it. The next thing I'm gonna do is put in my chunky glitter and I'm gonna put this all across the back. The next one we're going to be doing now is our red ashtray. For the red ashtray, we are using this amazing bling money dollar sign glitter in 24 karat gold color. And yeah, you guys, I'm basically just sprinkling it on there. All right, you guys, so I'm going to probably position my light right here, but I, of course, don't want the glue to seep in. So what I'm gonna do is place this packing tape on the battery just as a layer between the resin uh, so that it doesn't sink inside of the battery. Okay, you guys, and also I have left this area open because this has the switch. So this is a piece of tape that's eventually going to come off, at least from the top, but we're putting it on the underside of the battery and bring the tape up and I'm kind of forming like a little barrier, but don't close the tape all the way. See how I have it like this, kind of like a face mask shield protecting the switch. And this is so when we pour the resin, the switch doesn't get clogged with resin. Here I have the two powdered pigments that we talked about in the beginning of the video. All right, you guys, I just put some of my powder into the resin and I'm mixing it up. Ooh, it's really nice. This color is nice. Okay, and then here is the Imperial Red. Start pouring the resin. Now I'm going to pour the red. The moment is here. I am so excited. Here is our finished product of the triple layer LED light up in full color ashtrays. I noticed while demolding these ashtrays that I trapped a few large air pockets under my Scarface graphics in the first layers of my resin pour. I still love the ashtrays, but I am definitely slightly bummed I got these few imperfections in my final product. However, it inspired me to make another video for you guys on all the tips, tricks, and hacks on how to avoid air pockets and air bubbles in your resin projects. So if this is something you've had issues with before, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified for this video I'll be uploading real soon so you don't have to make that same mistake. I'm here for you guys and hey the ashtrays still look amazing and I had a great time making them I hope you love them as much as I do are you guys so I'm really excited let's open up this next ashtray oh my god you guys I absolutely love this one let's turn it on Ooh, oh my god. Ooh. Wow, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me on today's epic Scarface resin adventure, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye, guys.